the name Sweet Land comes from the song My Country Tis of Thee. My country tis of thee, sweet land of liberty. So sweet land operates in this sort of space where it's an allusion to an idea of the United States. We kind of were riffing on one of the ways in which a nation building process, the nation building project is always about a sort of self mythologization. If we're considering that uh, these early encounters are not accurately told, this was an opportunity for us as creative people to make up new mythologies, new creation stories. Oh, Sri Land originated as an American story, but I think more than that, Sri Land is a now story. It's really just looking at different power structures and the collision of paradigms and what has been redacted from our history and our experience as participants in a world that has been dominated. Any colonizing country that has engaged in either settler colonialism or extractive colonialism are telling these stories and haven't ever shown us the redacted statement of the experience. They even undermined their own suffering in these stories, in the retelling of these stories. They've developed a myth that is their history. And so we're just trying to develop more and more myth to stack on top of that, to create something contrary to our, our, our learned experience and reinforce the idea that what we know as history is illusion.